listening to mind chatter can sabotage your life. What are the voices in your head saying? What if you could trade all the busyness in your head for peace? Like lack of sleep, like depression, like anxiety. Well, in this video, we're going to share with you some ancient Hebraic processes to help eliminate mind chatter. So one of the most important steps for eliminating that mind chatter is called breath work. But wait just a minute. Before we talk about the breath work, you're going to want to stay tuned to the end because we want to share with you at the end this very ancient Hebraic process for eliminating mind chatter. So let's talk a little bit about the breath work. Oh, this is a very, very important piece for people to understand. If you can grasp what the breath work is doing on the internal piece of you, you will begin to move yourself from a place of being stuck in a rut to moving forward. So let me just say this about the breath work, that the breath work is like, think of a, a deer out in the pasture and the deer is eating the grass and just drinking the water and having a wonderful, wonderful time feeding itself. And then all of a sudden, it senses a predator in the brush, not far from where it's at. The senses inside of the deer go on high alert. It immediately goes into stress mode and the deer automatically begins to think, am I going to fight off this predator or am I going to flee? Something internally begins to happen to the deer. Many times when that mind chatter is going on, yeah. the internal piece of you is in a high state of what we call fight or flight. I know for me, when that mind chatter starts, I call it the swirl, you know, because one thought begets another thought. And before long, this one little problem becomes a problem in every area. And then when it becomes a problem, I don't know about you, but I begin to feel anxious. I begin to feel worried. And I know if I could just turn this off, then all those other problems will be eliminated. They'll quieten down mm -hmm. also. And so in the Hebraic way of life, we have prayers, ancient prayers that we've been taught to pray about silencing those voices. We say in Hebrew, in English, Bind our hearts to your ways, O God, the ways of peace, the ways of truth, the ways of life. Mm -hmm. And we actually have an image in our minds of our hearts being in the hands of Adonai. Like we're just giving our hearts to him. And because of the look on his face, as we say these prayers, peace comes into our hearts hearts. Our hearts begin to rest. And if my heart begins to rest, then I can return to sleep. Because that's usually when the mind chatter gets going. Mm -hmm. When you lay down at night and you've got some unanswered issues. One of the biggest problems of mind chatter is just that, the lack of sleep. When you don't have enough sleep, mm -hmm. your body can't be restored to the extent that we need our bodies restored. Long term with that, it creates health issues. Mm -hmm. And it makes us short with our uh, answers and with our patience. And mm -hmm. uh, it just really has a lot of effect on life. So if we take that deer that is out in the pasture, all of a sudden its senses go into high alert. This is a person who has listened continually to that mind chatter and now your body is in complete stress mode. Your brain waves are in high beta, they are in high activity. And how do we get those voices to stop? How do we slow it down into what you're talking about, that place of peace and rest? And there are some formulas that we want to offer for you to do for this to happen. Yeah, I think one of the things that happens with this mind chatter is, and I touched on it before, one problem 
becomes a bunch of problems. Mm -hmm. And so if we can stop it right away, mm -hmm. there's an ancient way to stop this process. Mm -hmm. So how are you guys feeling about your mind chatter? I hope that these points are helpful to you. Let's talk just a little bit more about that breath work. Yeah. Because breath work is a way to slow down the autonomic nervous system. Now, when we talk about breath work, we're talking about breathing in through the nose with a shorter count than we breathe out. Like for me, I will breathe in through my nose to the count of five. Mm -hmm. I know I'm almost going to explode there, right? Mm -hmm. Well, then we begin to breathe it out to the count of seven or eight. And as you do that over and over, it begins to slow the body down. That breath work is really the, the most important because you can do it right away. And then we go into those ancient prayers. Mm -hmm. They say that if you do, science proves this, three minutes of just breathing into that five count, breathing out to the seven count will help you for six hours to bring your stress levels down. And that is worth so much just to have that extra quieted peace in your life. Yes, because with the mind chatter, people are like, yeah, I just don't want to think that. The problem with mind chatter also is it can convince you of the worries mm -hmm. that are Absolutely. inside of that mind chatter. Mm -hmm. But now let's talk about the greatest oh. key of all, the most powerful, and it's an ancient Hebraic secret. We have these things <laughs> called the 72 names of Adonai. One of those names is particularly about mind chatter. Now, mm -hmm. these aren't names that we say like, Yana and Darla. Mm -hmm. These are names that have three Hebrew letters. And all we have to do is look at or picture in our mind those Hebrew letters. So the three Hebrew letters that deal specifically with mind chatter. And again, this is a really important, powerful secret we're sharing with you today. Those letters are Ayin, Lamed, and mem. Now, if you don't know what those letters are, you can Google those and find them. But once again, here they are. Ayin, Lamed, and Mem. Now, share with us what those letters really mean. Mm -hmm. So when you bring the combination of these three Hebrew letters together, it causes the construction in the frequencies and energies of them to begin to eliminate the mindless chatter or the mindless thoughts. And so the ayin in a Hebraic sense is all about the watchman on the wall. It's all about this watcher who is looking for and watching for things that are coming in. The lamed is about the shepherd, the leader. And remember Moshe in the, the wilderness when he raised that staff to the heavens? He was the leader and that staff represented authority. And of course, the mem is all about an, a great amount of and fill in the blank. But in this case, it would be the chaos. And so when you bring these three Hebrew letters together, they, uh, this is what they are saying. They are saying that the watcher on the wall carries the staff of authority to bring order to the chaos. So you would take and breathe in through the nose, hold it, and then release it. And as you are breathing in through the nose, you're going to focus on the letters. And when you exhale, you're gonna feel your body relax. Breathe in, focus on the letters, hold it, Exhale and relax. So if you've ever felt like you were not cared for, you're not seen, or you're not valued, in this next video, we're going to talk about the number one problem that every human faces. 
We hope that you're enjoying these and really appreciate you joining with us today. <laughs> we are the, the Hebrew, Hebrew Sisters, Sisters at HebrewScrollsAcademy.com.